Hey folks, so it seems like every time I use my machine, I come up with something else that urgently needs to get improved upon. So this week, it's an enclosure. I'm tired of aluminum shavings being everywhere in my garage. So this is what we're gonna build tonight. Mainly what I wanted to show you tonight is just kind of from a distance, how much crap this machine's throwing when it's running. As you can see, it is a mess when that thing's running. And it's almost a safety issue because you don't want to get a piece of aluminum in your eye. Or Hey folks, it's the next day, so I am actually recording this on a Sunday, so I'm not sure if I will get it out today on time. But I shot some stuff yesterday just to show you how much of a mess this milling machine really makes when it's flying, and this is kind of the aftermath. Um, yesterday it was nice and clean, and I made one part, and you can see there are chips everywhere. You can hear me crunching them on the ground. So I learned really quickly to make sure all my drawers are closed because it gets all in the drawers and everything. You can see chips everywhere. So it's a big enough pain in the butt just having them all over the floor and then trying to not track them in the house with the carpet right past that door. Um, it's another thing, I wear safety glasses, but you know, there's always that chance that a chip is gonna go um, you know, above or below the safety glasses and get in your eyes. So went over to the Home Depot and I bought a piece of, what is that, acrylic? Yeah, acrylic that's clear. So I'm going to use that as a front piece. And then I bought this Coroplast stuff. And I'm just going to make it. It'll be super flimsy, but it'll be enough to stop the chips from, from flying everywhere. I'm just going to make a little housing. I'm going to warn you, I haven't really done any super duper analysis or engineering on this one. Uh, I pretty much just bought a sheet, did some really rough measurements. Let's do it. So I went ahead and drew out kind of the basic lines and shapes and everything. So I've got a back, a side, a side, and a top. And a couple mistakes, hopefully I don't cut the wrong lines. But this is the nasty side and I didn't want to try and erase it all. It seemed like it just wanted to smudge when I tried the first time. So I'm going to cut those out. I can tell I already have enough material. So I'm going to cut those out, see how they look, and then go from there. That's what we have so far. Ta-da! So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and tape that together and then cut out a couple front pieces for the bottom and then this guy will sit vertically and it's going to be hinged at the top here. So then I'll just close in the front around that glass and then it'll flip up out of the way when I need to get in the machine. So I went ahead and traced out the last one, two, three pieces I got to cut. I'll go ahead and set those into place, make sure everything fits kind of okay-like. 
and then I'm probably going to call it a night. Um, I got to make these kids dinner and stuff, so, uh, but yeah. So this should be a pretty cool, super low budget project. Keep all them chips from flying all over my garage. And I did not call it a night. I hate it. When I start one of these projects, I just got to finish it. Ta-da! Beautiful, right? It's all done. Now, so I just need to tape everything up. Obviously, those two side pieces are going to go up a little higher. Uh, yeah, and then the glass goes in the middle. Not glass. Epoxy. What? Not epoxy. Acrylic. Acrylic. So, that'll go on there. And I think it'll be a little straighter and a little more stable once it's all taped together. I got $40 in materials. The sheet was 20 bucks. I bought an $8 roll of duct tape just because it was white, so it doesn't look all super chintzy. I think it'll look somewhat decent when it's done. Um, yeah, what was the other money I spent on it? I don't remember. Somehow money just, just gets spent. All right, so I decided to go ahead and just start taping. Um, what you're looking at here, you got a side, a side, a top, and a back. And these are all the inside stuff is up. So I'm going to go ahead and just run a piece of duct tape along each seam. And at that point I should be able to fold it into a 90 and then do the rest of the inside seams and have some type of a structure.
While I was working out in the garage, this is what my daughters were doing. Uh, <laughs> oh, it's flashing. <laughs> and this. You, your fort just and broke. I you. Where I go? Your fort broke though. It caved in. I uh oh. Dad, I'm in here. Oh, okay. I heard your tablet. You might see my little dog running around here. He's all sad and, and scared because he ate like four bagels today while I was gone. And so now he doesn't know if he should be like cool with me or not. Because I threw him outside for like two hours. Alright, so here it is. It's a little cattywampus right now because it's sitting on top of the pan back there. But I kind of expected that to happen anyway. And what I'll do is I'll just cut a little notch out of it and then it'll sit down flat on the table and I'm probably going to need to unmount my machine and move it over like a foot so that um, it can sit on the, the table square and everything. But that's no big deal. Kind of expected that when I built it. I just wish I would have planned ahead when I mounted my machine to the table. But yeah, there it is. Um, I think it'll work at least for the next, you know, six, eight months, hopefully a year just to get some use out of it and hopefully by then be looking at bigger and better machines. This is more of just a temporary, you know, just get something down because right now I'm tracking all this aluminum shavings into the house and the wife's not going to be happy when she realizes it. So, you know, just trying to, to keep it going and also keep metal out of my eyes and ears and nose and mouth and beer and, and everything else. So, so yeah, there you go. Have a good one.